Thank you, Gregory. And thank you, everybody, for being here today. It was not so easy this morning, so this demonstrates that everybody is here, is very convinced. So, my presentation today is about two things. First, it's about open source software. And secondly, it's about an open way of working. And this is why you have the title, Airbus IT infrastructure is going open and between brackets source, because I want to come back to the open way of working, which we believe is at least as important as the open source, and why the two are related to each other. So, just a few words about uh, Airbus. I don't think I have to say much. I think everybody knows Airbus. Um, we all know it's a very big company. It's also a successful company. Airbus has for the moment an order book of uh, nine years uh, of aircraft who have already been uh, ordered and who will be developed in the next, uh, uh, delivered in the next uh, nine years. And Airbus is also a very much preferred employer, especially for engineers. We are typically in countries like France and Germany, uh, the number one. Very uh, quickly, going through the IT in Airbus, it's a bit everywhere in the world, but uh, from the 1,300 people working in IT, most of them work in France and in Germany. Then just to give you a little bit an idea about the IT infrastructure, I think we can summarize it. It's a big infrastructure. We have around 130,000 uh, users who need all this uh, equipment. We have a big back office to support all of that with more than 10,000 servers um, and 15 petabytes of storage. We have a very big infrastructure on high-performance computing for all the simulations um, with 1.2 petaflops. In the ranking, we are typically counted separate because we have a center for this in uh, Toulouse and one in Hamburg. But if you would add up the capacity of the two, we would be in the top 100 of rankings of high-performance computing centers. So it's a big operation and connected through a very reliable network. This is our environment in the Airbus IT infrastructure. So now I want to come back to things that we have heard before from uh, Michel and from uh, Christian talking about uh, that open source is not just so much about uh, cost anymore, but it is about innovation. Well, in Airbus, it is for a big deal, for a big part, it is about time. You know, when we look a little bit in today's world, we see that things have changed a lot. We go back almost 100 years and we find ourselves in the industrial era where if you want to be successful, you need to have the capital, the machinery, etc. Then around the 60s, 70s, this has moved into the knowledge era where he who has the know-how has all the power and has all the possibilities. But this is also finished because today everybody has know-how. Know-how is very easy to get. So today, if you want to be competitive, you have to be fast. We are in the time era right now. And concentrating now a little bit more on Airbus, the time era is even more true because we are in a business where there is a high demand of aircraft, we have an order book of nine years, and we have long development lead time. So I think you can imagine that everything that makes Airbus faster is really translated into money. If we can increase our production even faster than we are already doing, we can sell more aircraft because we have this uh, big order book. If we can develop our improved products most, more faster than the competition, this translates immediately into sales because there is a high demand for these aircraft. So for Airbus, time and compressing time is essential. For the Airbus IT, it's even going a step further, it's even more essential because what we are seeing in the company is that the business expectations are increasing faster than ever before. We have a lot of productivity programs, we have a digitalization program that was started by our CEO uh, a bit more than a year ago. And to meet these expectations, we in IT need to increase our pace of change. We need to increase the innovation and we need to get the most of our highly qualified people. 
in summary, to achieve all of that, we need to open up. And open up not only to the open source, but to the open way of working. And I come back to that. A little bit of the history of open source in Airbus. It's not very new. Uh, we started even promoting open source use in, uh, back in 2008. Um, typically, the engineering has more experience with open source in Airbus than the IT. So it's, there is more uh, experience on that in the embedded systems. But then over the years, it started to increase slowly. And the last two, three years, we see an acceleration. In 2014, uh, we changed and made Linux the preferred operating system for servers. In the meantime, this is increased to 51%. And a lot of initiatives in this year build on open source. Um, we have a project uh, to put in the next version of our private cloud to manage it with OpenStack. We have a big data environment based on Hadoop. Uh, we have started a project about which I will tell a little bit more with ITOP for the uh, IT asset management and the IT service management. And we are doing several uh, POCs with open source solutions in uh, DevOps and uh, automating the entry into service. So you see that these recent projects, they are less about, uh, as was said before, less about the economics, but more because we see areas where the open source solutions are just more advanced or are leading the way. And this is, I think, perfectly in line with what you have heard uh, just before. Innovating and being faster is one of the key advantages we see today in the open source. So just an overview of the open source solutions that we are uh, using. Of course, everybody uses uh, Linux and Apache. Um, the Airbus uh, website, public website, is on Typo 3. Our engineering department uses uh, Alfresco as an alternative to SharePoint. And uh, I will say a little bit more about what we are doing with ITOP in the coming slides. So I start from the project where we are, what we are doing today regarding the IT service management. And this is a project that help us to implement quicker IT services management. We are a big operation, we need tools for that, so it has a number of advantages there and we are able to concentrate a number of solutions. But this project is just one. We see a lot more benefit by boosting in our company in general the use of open source software because we get the classical advantages, better TCO, quicker implementations, better quality and security, etc. Also, I think what we consider very important is to reduce our dependency from the classical software suppliers. We want to uh, get out of the lock-in and we think we can do that with open source. And of course, we want to increase the innovation as already said in specific areas like big data Open source is clearly ahead of the rest. But this is a bigger advantage than doing a single project, but we think is not even the biggest advantage. We think the biggest advantage is to use some of the habits and the way of working in open source to come to what we call the open way of working. And in this open way of working, we believe we can increase and improve the motivation and the efficiency of our people to make IT more attractive through transparency, through collaboration, sharing and empowerment. We think we can further increase our speed of change and we think we can align with the digitalization initiatives that have been started in our company. So now, just coming back to what we uh, want to achieve in the IT services management, this is uh, the landscape that we have today. We have uh, Typically, uh, in IT, we use SAP for the procurement finance. Um, we use uh, Planisware for the projects, and we have Remedy for the IT services. Now, we have decided to implement Remedy many years ago. We have invested a lot of that, but we had a problem to do it fast enough. And because we were not fast enough, all parts of the IT uh, departments have made their own little solutions. These are the little islands that you see everywhere. So now, we are in a landscape with a little, about 40 little islands and we need all of them to be efficient enough. 
So what we decided to do is we decided to complement Remedy with an open source tool called uh, ITOP, where we believe we can implement faster, which we believe is more flexible to update to our requirements. And so our objective is to faster move the majority of these satellites into one integrated solution. So this is the one project advantage. We think that for us open source has the potential to, of course, reduce cost. Everybody wants this. To reduce the dependencies. I, I think we should not underestimate that. This is for Airbus an important motivation. We feel that uh, the classical op uh, software vendors are sometimes difficult to work with once they have the feeling that you are in a lock-in situation. And we want to uh, have co work with communities and work across uh, silos. What we think is the most important is that we think we can innovate quicker and be more agile. And then you have the further open source advantages. Now, coming back to this open operating model and why these four elements, which we have definitely not invented, you will find it in the model of the open world from uh, Don Tapscott, which is about transparency, that we want to gain the trust of our stakeholders and to eliminate hidden waste. I think this is one of the strong points of the open source. If you do mistake in open source, you will get corrected very quickly by the community. So you do small mistakes. And these short cycles make you that there is never any big disaster or any big problem because there is a continuous control through this transparency. Empowerment, reducing control, it has been said before. We think this is a motivation topic. We think today's workforce needs to be engaged in a different way than in the past. People want to be more independent. They want to be understanding why we do something and they will figure out the what and the, and the how. So we need to have good high level direction and then trust our people to come up with the right solutions and the right ways how to do it. Collaboration is important. In many big companies, you have a lot of silos between the different departments. This is the case in many places. You also find uh, examples of that in Airbus and in the open source communities, you see that people are working across the boundaries and this we want to promote. And then finally, sharing with internal and external communities to capture the synergies and the open source model is all about sharing the intellectual property that has been developed. Now, what is also very interesting, our CEO, Tom Anders, started the digitalization program for Airbus and he has defined the top-level ambitions. And it's very interesting when we look at these top-level ambitions, how they fit to the open way of working and to the open source model. And you see these digital transformation ambitions coming, being defined at the top of our company. And on the first place, you see high employee engagement. And this fits exactly to the empowerment model that we want to promote through the open way of working and through the open source. The second one is digital operational excellence. We think this is promoted a lot and improved a lot through the transparency that makes waste go away. You know, it's like uh, transparency is like the sun to waste. It melts the waste. Turning product data into insight well, we all know about the big data. We all know that the open source is leading over there. So this is a very important uh, plus where we can use a lot of open source solutions to turn product data into insight. We have the capturing of the end customer experience. And finally, we have the business agility, which means through the combination of the open way of working and the open source software, we really think we can speed up and we can work in a more agile way. So these two elements, open source, open way of working, fit exactly to the digitalization, digitalization ambition of 
Airbus as it was defined by, uh, by the top management in Airbus. Finally, to conclude, how all of this fits into a scheme, we have the ambition to open up, to work with more transparency, more collaboration, more sharing, more empowerment. We want to innovate more and we want to focus on added value instead of on licensing discussion, etc., etc. We feel we can do this with the help of open source solutions. This will help us to increase the speed, be more agile, have more secure solutions, and of course reduce cost. We all like that. And especially to increase the motivation of our workforce. And this in turn will support our company objectives for competitiveness and the digitalization program. Thank you very much. This is the conclusion of my presentation. <laughs>